Is it going to be good? I pray to God it's going to be good. I pray. One of the videos I can't wait to do and share with you guys is my first ever Christmas vlog. Hi guys, thanks for stopping by at my channel. Um, I'm just doing a quick video today of a get ready with me slash chit chat about Christmas of course. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the build up to Christmas as I am in our house. It is all go at the moment. So um, it's just a very simple switch it up a little bit from the boring old neutrals that I use all the time and just added a little bit of colour and had a bit of a play around. So if you want to know how I achieved this look today, please keep watching. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. Take one, take two, take three. How many times have I got to upload a video? It feels like forever since I last did my upload and it has been forever since I last did my upload because I've tried to do one video which has been taking me the first time I had a giant booger hanging out my nose the second time I did my video clip too large of a file I am still learning back when I was using the iPad or the iPhone to film it's like wham bam done but bad quality now we're in the world of DSLRs it's all a whole nother story right so I'm going to be just doing a nice quick easy get ready with me and I've already moisturized my face I haven't primed yet as so I'll try the Too Faced Hangover primer today um, it's just a trial size it does feel really hydrating on the skin so I love primers which feel like that so now I'm all primed and ready to go. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Light Beige. And I'm going to be mixing in some of my MUA um, Lightening Drops. These are a good buy. They're nice and cheap on a budget and they do the job well of lightening your foundation. So if you've made a mistake out there, as I have done many a time, these definitely come in handy. I'm just using my sponge, my Real Technique sponge today because it's the only sponge which is clean. But what I do love about the Real Technique sponges, they're so easy to clean. I might have made this foundation a little bit too light. But it's a get ready with me for the daytime. I've tried the Beauty Blender now. I've eased my curiosity on getting a beauty blender yes it's a really good sponge um but so it is this so i will continue to use both born this way Too faced born this way is a good foundation if no one has tried it yet i definitely recommend it as a really good daytime foundation it has a nice natural satin finish and um so it's not matte not too dewy it's just really good coverage. Um, I wouldn't say heavy coverage, but it's a nice finish on it. So for concealer, I'm just going to use the L'Oreal True Match. I've used that a number of times in my videos. It's a nice concealer. I'll be warming up my face with some bronzer. And this will be a quick, easy, get ready with me video. And I'll blend that in with my Real Technique sponge. Keeping everything really light today. So the build up to Christmas has been amazing um, in my house. I don't know how it's been for all you guys, but it's such a busy time of year for me. A really busy time of year. Who has like... I got birthdays, I have birthdays starting from September. I got my birthday in September, my husband's birthday in November. No, let's start again. My birthday is in September, my daughter's birthday is October, my husband is November, I've got two sons in December, the 6th and the 20th of December, and then I have my youngest son who's the 6th of January and Christmas to deal with. It is so hectic. That is, um, to, to find the time to do this and then to upload my videos and they all turn out wrong 
it's so frustrating it's so frustrating i'll probably laugh about it in another couple of days but i'm not quite there yet i'm not ready to laugh about it yet so for bronzing up my face i'm going to be using my brand new urban decay beached bronzer and i got the shade bronzed because the light one looked too light for me and i am in love with the shade i am in love it's the most gorgeous color i wouldn't say i'm really fair i'm not olive i'm not deep skin tone but that is just beautiful i have um, my Kat Von D shade and light palette which is really nice for contouring and you can use that as bronzing up as well but i was looking for more of a sun-kissed glow not a glow a sun-kissed been like a healthy um color that makes you look like you've been in the sun just to give that a healthy look so i found that and i i love it i really love it so i'm just going to be applying that to bronze up my face real quick So this, this is basically my, like, I don't know, my second or third attempt of doing this video. And I was like, I do not want to do the same eye look. But the eye look is so simple and easy. I just wanted to show you guys a nice, simple way. Um... of changing up your makeup and making it just a little bit more interesting that's all so it's so it's very very subtle but it's just what i wanted to give myself some color which you can see i like that i really like that a lot just what i wanted and then just to darken it up just to add in a little bit of more definition in my cheekbones i will use the beloved bahama mama which I use. It was the only bronzer I was using to um, to do any contouring with as far as the powder goes. So I'm just deepening that up with my Real Techniques um, brush just to create a subtle line. There you go. And then I'll just blend them together I think I went too hard on my nose. I'll do. So I've just done my eyebrows off camera um, just to save some time guys and guess who came to my door have um, my favorite people in my life are um, obviously my family and um, my friends and the doorman or the postman and this has just arrived and i've been waiting for this for four days now when i ordered it from the website i was started freaking out immediately because i heard people were saying they wasn't receiving their items Whew, i can breathe i finally got it i don't even want to incorporate it in today's look because i'm not prepared but i will do a review on this so Jolie Beauty, after doing my research on websites, trust review websites, Tati um, did a review on this, I went ahead and got it. Now I think I have said I've been a bit of a hypocrite because I said I'm not going to do any unicorn young looking looks, crazy looks because you know I'm at a certain age where I can't pull things off with these eyes and the skin so but I had to, I had to do it, I fell in love with it and also it will probably come in handy when I'm doing it on other people and this is what I got. I opened it and I almost was blown away. So here she is and I'll just show you on camera how beautiful it looks. Is the plastic cover on yet? Let's take that off and just marvel at these colors i'm gonna have so much fun doing this so much fun i'll do a review on this real soon guys i might do it in the next two days if i have time and i'm not gonna even mess with these today i'm just not ready i'm not ready to cry on camera if they don't turn out to be any good i'm just not ready to face that kind of rejection 
wasting my money because th that's another um another thing about the palette was i was seeing it on um amazon by different very various companies at different prices um lower than what i paid for so i'm like why does people do that? Why do they confuse the hell out of people and just um, make them think that they're being ripped off or, you know, and then you're worried about the ingredients that are going in some really cheap look-alike copy. So I thought I'll do the right thing and order direct from the source. And then I saw on, or I saw on social media, people weren't happy with what they were, um, you know the waiting time periods yes they're based in the uk so i thought okay that's going to be good for me i won't have to wait as long but communication i'm sorry to say it i'm not getting paid nothing to do this video and I, the communication was zero for the first two days i had nothing i paid extra for shipping i had no dispatch confirmation and i was really worried and upset and that's not the way to deal with customers you know you've paid a, a significant amount of money yeah, I've paid more for my Naked palettes, but you know you're going to be getting your stuff with your ordering from House of Fraser, Debenhams, etc., Beauty Bay. But for companies who are small, they need to learn to um, communicate with the customers. They really do. That's my rant over with. Thank you, Jolie Beauty, for promising on your delivering of your goods. I'll be doing a review on this palette very soon. Right, back to the video. So I'm going to use some blusher. So this is my favourite brush to use for blusher. It's just a nice stipple brush and it's an Eco Tools. I'll use the Zoeva palette, just the last two on the end. I'm rushing. I'm rushing because I want to try out the palette. No, I'll do a good job. I will do a good job. I'll stick to the plan. I'll stick to the plan. I already feel flushed. I feel excited. So I'm just going to um, prime my eyelids or just put some concealer on my lids with this Bourjois Concealer. So easy and quick doing this. I'm just patting that in. I think I'm going to zoom in to do my eye look today. And I like using this because there's no waiting time for it to, because when you use some of these concealers on your eyelids, there's a little bit of a, a tacky um, stickiness to it and then the eyeshadow won't apply right, it'll, it'll apply just like really heavy in one spot. So I'll just zoom you in gently to there. So we're going to be starting using Kiko and I'm getting through this because it's my favourite base colour. I have about what? One, two, three, four, five, six palettes. And I keep going back to this little thing here because the colour, I just can't get enough of the colour. I'm sure I might have, I don't, I don't think I have a colour like that in my palette. And if you want to know what it is, it's the wet and, dry, wet and dry eyeshadow from Kiko Milano. And the colour just says 06 Ombretto. So it's such a gorgeous colour because it's not too light because I find the ones which I use for a base are too light and it's not too dark and it blends out lovely I'm just putting it all over and taking it out slightly So yeah, I'm getting, I can feel the, me, I can feel the anticipation for Christmas is just sneaking up upon us faster and then what, what happens, it just all goes after one day it's over and you feel so deflated after, I feel deflated anyway, I feel so depressed after Christmas because you've ate so much food, I haven't been to the gym in months and I can tell. So that's that and then I'm going to quickly just go through the crease with my um, Z palette. Which one shall I use? This one here. Focus. This one here. Which is called, I'll say the name, Latte by Makeup Geek. I'll try this brush today. This is one I got in a set from TK Maxx, TJ Maxx known in the States. Um, it's just a nice, it's quite dense and I'll try this in the crease. Yeah, that'll do. 
that will do nicely so I'm just putting it in the crease to give it more color like so So does anyone know what they had for Christmas and who put their tree up in November? That's a no-no in my house. We'll have to wait till the first weekend in December to do the tree. I'm going to add that in the video just to show you guys my tree because I love my tree. So I'm just going to go in and switch things up a little bit. And this is um, the Color Edition 24 Hour Cream to Powder Texture, texture Bourgeois Paris Eyeshadow. And it's a nice olive green. It's a little bit metallic-y. I'll be placing this just on the lids of my eye and slightly above as well. So it just gives me a little bit of a change to what I normally do. It's just nice to switch things up a little bit and use a little bit of colour. And it's a very good blendable cream eyeshadow and it does turn to a powder form. And I just find it really easy to apply with my fingers. So what I'm going to do now just to finish off the eye look for the top is just add a little bit of this Barry M green um, pigment sorry I couldn't tip up the bottle I couldn't tip it up too much it would fall out and I'm just going to spray my brush um, it's like a flat brush and I'm just going to apply that very very gentle on the lid And I'm keeping it, I'm trying to keep it in the middle. That is the eye look done. And then I'm just going to go again underneath with the latte. Just under. And then one last thing. I told you this would be quite quick. Do the lash line again and then um, go in the waterline with the NYC colour eyeshadow and that's in green as well and I think the colour is just called, my oh my god my eyes are getting bad, Madison Square. Okay, Madison Square. It's not very pigmented so I won't be purchasing one of these again. So and I don't, you don't have to push really hard but This gives it some more um, colour at the bottom. So, And then mascara is L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. Just a little different just to, you know, switch things up a little bit. Yes, four children, four birthdays, all running month after month. Very, very hard. We're going to finish off with some um, lipstick. Okay, so the lipstick I'll be using today is the NYX Lingerie in the shade Baby Doll. Hmm, Mosley Doll Baby Doll. I like that. That's cute. And it's just a really nice nude. Mm-mm. -mm. My camera needs adjusting. And then let me just zoom you out gently. Okay, we're back. We're back on. So I'm just going to go over my lipstick with the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint in the shade Whisper. It just gives my lips an extra shine.
and we're done. So that is my quick get ready with me. I'm just going to finish my hair off and I'll be back in a second. So I'm done. I've finished. I cannot believe it's took forever to try and upload a video. Um, I'll be back to do my review on the Jolie Beauty Glitter Palette. Um, I wasn't brave enough to do it as I just received it in the post. Is it going to be good? I pray to God it's going to be good. I pray. One of the videos I can't wait to do and share with you guys is my first ever Christmas vlog. That's going to be amazing for me to share that with you. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I know I've got some goodies coming. Um, the kids' faces, they're going to be so super happy. And yeah, it's just going to be a really great day as I'm sure everyone around the world is going to be having a great day. But yeah, I'm... I personally am very much looking forward to doing my Christmas vlog. Um, just little clips throughout the day, just to let you guys have a little insight on my loud, crazy family. So I have four children. Um, my two youngest boys, they're diagnosed with autism. Um, I'm not sure how much you guys know about autism, but it's getting more and more heard of um, in the later years. My brother, who is 36, he has autism as well, so I have grew up with it in my family. And um, yeah, they, they, are, they are the best boys, they're so, um, they bring so much, so much joy to my life and they've changed my life a lot. Um, I don't even want to get started on talking about them because I'll just start crying on camera. But anyway, um, yeah, just for me to share that with you and do a Christmas vlog, I can't wait to do that. I like this today because it's a, a change, it's quick, it's easy, and if you have any comments you want to leave below and say hello, don't be shy. And I really appreciate my recent subscribers I've been getting um, lately and my support. That means so much to me. One of my videos, I think, has got like over 200 views. It's like, whoa, that's a lot for me. And then I, <laughs> when I see someone who's uploaded one, someone really popular, and they've uploaded it an hour ago and it's got like 5,000 views. Because <laughs> my, my, my brother called me, he was like, you've had over 200 views on one of your videos. I'm like, I know, I know, that's a lot, ain't it? And then I told him about the other person, he's like, oh, okay. Doesn't matter, I'm not letting it stress me out like I used to. I'm very, very happy in what I'm doing. I'm very relaxed. I'm getting more and more comfortable. Although the DSLR thing did hold me up because I'm still learning on how to use it and how to edit. And it's just a learning curve, but I am enjoying it. So um, once again, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care.